Okay. We have Hutch. Well, first of all, I can't believe you're all still up. This is 2.15 in the morning. And was that game on national TV? Yes, ESPN2. Yeah, because uh, everybody in the country is staying up and watching it on our side of the country. So anyway, that's, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I just told Heather, I don't know if anybody could have beaten him today. They were absolutely, I mean, you've got a bunch of fifth year seniors and, uh, you know, they're a strong, powerful team and they were, they were pretty formidable. And, uh, you know, we just, you know, we didn't, uh, we had our chances in the first game, you know, we kept it to a two nothing game, but we just, you know, needed to execute a, an offensive game plan better against Gabby Plain, who's, you know, you can't say enough about her. And the second game, boy, we jumped out, but you could, you could feel it when they started coming at us. And then in that seven run inning, I mean, we just, we gave too many, we gave them too many outs, outs that needed to be made. And you can't do that against, and they just ate it up. So uh, that's, that's the name of the game. Congrats to them. We wish them well. Anything else? Hutch, how do you, when you see a seven run inning, I mean, what do you make of it? Do you, I mean, do you, I mean, how do you adjust? Obviously, you, you pulled Straco and brought Bobian in. Well, again, we, uh, you know, we made a couple of miscues, and I, I, I can't, I can't make the adjustments. We needed, we tried to calm our kids down. We had to do it several times during today. They got a little over amped and over anxious, and, um, you know, we, we need to make the plays. That's what big time players do. They make the plays, and. You know, we saw them do that, and unfortunately, we didn't do it enough. And when they hit the ball, boy, they didn't miss it. They didn't miss hit it. Whether that ends up being their last game or not, uh, what can you say across the course of the season uh, about some of your seniors and their improvement? You know, Alan, Bob, yeah. Bobian. I mean – I've said for a while, this senior class has done, has been an extraordinary, extraordinary. They've been great leaders. They've really kept our, our group together. I thought their leadership was outstanding. And to watch some of those kids grow up, I mean, they, they've really grown up and, and they blossomed in their senior year. And it's always fun to watch that. It's fun to be a part of that journey. And I'm honored and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for what they did for the program this year. And I'm only sorry we couldn't see it through to the next level. You know, and I'm sorry for them, but they gave it what they had. And I tell you today, it was, we were outmatched. Do you think there's any fatigue from, from your pitchers today? Or is it more of Washington making some adjustments at the plate there in the, in the final game? Well, they certainly made some adjustments, but I didn't think that, you know, we were spinning the ball quite as well as yesterday and as tight. And uh, they certainly were prepared for, you know, Sirocco's up pitch and, um, and got, got good pieces of it. Again, their adjustments were to sit in their heels and get to the top of that ball, and those translate into really well-hit balls. And, you know, kudos to that. Which do you – I know it's just it, – the season's just ended, but when you look at the season, is there – I mean, what do you think about the, the pauses, the COVID, playing a Big Ten-only schedule? How do you wrap things up? Well, again, this group is going to be more resilient than uh, than than they ever thought they were going to be, and you know we were able to to gut through a really tough season in a lot of areas and um, Big Ten only, which was you know difficult. I said, "Wow, we're only playing Washington three times. We typically play everybody four times," and um, I just give the kids credit because you know what—you're never as strong as you think that you are until you have to be. And they were strong enough to get through all of it. The pauses, the kids who had COVID and had to go to isolation housing. We had kids in isolation for over 10 days. I mean, so it's, um, it's been quite the year. And, you know, when we get a minute, we'll be glad that part of it's over. So let's, we just want to move on and get back to uh, getting rid of that stuff. Anything else? 
Thanks, Hutch. Twenty of us have a six a.m. flight, so we got to go. Here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Appreciate Good you guys. Travels. Yep. Yeah, we're out of here. So thanks, Leah. Thanks, guys. All right, I'm going to stop the recording, but uh, leave this running for Washington. So thanks, guys.